The deep sea is full of some of the world's greatest mysteries and every day we are learning more. From some fish that look like aliens, to a jellyfish that helped advance the scientific community, all the way to the very real flying spaghetti monster. On today's life's biggest questions video we are going to be taking a dive deep into the ocean as we cover the top 10 weirdest creatures at the bottom of the ocean. Starting off this list, in our number 10 spot we have the wolf trap anglerfish. This is a species of anglerfish that is usually found in the deep waters just off of the coast of Mexico. While all anglerfish look pretty strange, these guys just might take the cake on the weirdest looking fish in the angler family. These guys were actually discovered quite recently, only a few years ago, and this, coupled with their deep sea habitat, means that a lot of information about them remains a mystery just waiting to be uncovered. Like other anglerfish, these guys also have the bioluminescent lure that is used for attracting prey. In our number 9 spot today, we have the Atolla jellyfish. These are a species of deep sea crown jellyfish, and they can be found in the oceans all around the world. These jellies have 20 regular tentacles and then one special longer tentacle that is thought to help facilitate the capture of prey. This is a species of bioluminescent jellyfish and when attacked it will produce a series of flashes. These flashes are not only to confuse and hopefully momentarily blind the predator, but also to hopefully draw in another even larger predator who will then be drawn to the original attacker. A marine biologist named Edith Witter was able to create a device based upon the series of flashes produced by this jelly, and it has been used in order to lure some more elusive and mysterious deep sea species in order to capture them on film for documentation and study. In our number 8 spot today we have the flying spaghetti monster. If I were you watching this video I'd currently be sitting there wondering if I'm being pranked, but I swear that's not the case and this creature really does exist. This deep sea creature is a species of siphonophore that can usually be found in the Atlantic Ocean. While these guys appear to be one organism they're actually a colonial organism, which means that they're composed of many, many medusoid and polypoid zooids. Zooids are multicellular units that developed from one single fertilized egg, and they combine to create functional colonies like the flying spaghetti monster. In our number 7 spot today we have the vampire squid. The scientific name of these creatures directly translates into vampire squid from hell and they get their name from their fantastic red color, their glowing eyes, and their webbing in between the arms which appears as some sort of cloak. Well, that's where the vampire part comes from. The squid part is a little trickier. While the vampire squid shares qualities with both squid and octopuses, they don't actually belong to either of these families and they are instead in a category of their own entirely. In the past there were more members in this same family, but the vampire squid is now the last remaining member, which is why they are often referred to as a living fossil. In our number 6 spot today we have the spotted handfish. Handfish in general are very strange to look at, but this species is of course the spotted variety. These guys are both rare and endangered and are found in the deep waters off of the coast of Australia. Why handfish look so weird is because of their pectoral fins, which look eerily similar to human appendages. While these guys are fish, so of course they can swim, they are often found using those pectoral fins to basically walk along the sea floor. In fact, it usually prefers to walk along the sea floor. While the fins do look kind of like hands, maybe it should have been called a walking fish? I do think that may already exist though. In our number 5 spot today we have the mega mouth shark. These guys are a species of deep water shark that is rarely ever seen by humans, so there is so much more about them that remains a total mystery. Since their first discovery which came in 1976, there have been fewer than 100 specimens ever observed or caught. These guys are planktivorous, which means that they feed on planktonic foods. This leads them to swim with their mouths wide open, and this, coupled with their extremely large heads and their lips, makes them easily recognizable if you ever to run into one while on a casual trip to the deep sea. In our number 4 spot today we have the coffin fish. These guys are awfully bright colored for their dark name. They are a species of sea toad that live in the deep sea. They kind of look like a gourd with a bad attitude as their face looks like they are constantly scowling. These fish have an enormous gill chamber which allows them to basically hold their breath for up to 4 minutes at a time. This helps them conserve their energy in their low resource habitat. When doing this they increase their body volume by 30% which apparently would be the equivalent to a human inflating their lungs to the entire size of their abdomen. Coffin fish can normally be found on the floor of the sea standing on their two fins that appear like little legs. Everyone's got little leg fins in this list. <laughs> In 
In our number 3 spot today we have the Emperor Shrimp. These shrimp are quite small at around 3 quarters of an inch, but they are easy to identify because of their amazing colour. They are often found with orange sides, a white back that has orange specks, and orange claws with purple tips. These guys are pretty specific in terms of their environment and they do best when they can form a symbiotic relationship with another creature. They really prefer holotherians or sea cucumbers where they live on the surface of their host which helps keep them protected from predators and they can easily scavenge there. And they help their host by eating any parasites that may come their way. While living on a host these shrimp don't stay still but instead move up and down constantly on the lookout for food. Kinda like me. In our number 2 spot today we have the Stargazer. These fish are absolute nightmare fuel despite their nice little name. Their eyes are located on the tops of their heads which is what gives them their name but they have this strange little habit of burying themselves in the sand with only their face exposed before suddenly leaping out in order to catch their prey. These guys are also a venomous fish and if this wasn't enough there are some species which also have an electric organ. Because they have the ability to camouflage themselves and ambush predators and they can deliver both venom and electric shocks, they have been called the meanest thing in creation. In our number 1 spot today we have armored sea robins. These guys can be found deep in the oceans around the world with most species making their homes in tropical regions. These guys are related to another form of sea robins and some people choose to classify them as such, but these guys main difference is that they are encased in heavy scales and they have a very prominent spine which is where they get their armored nickname from. These guys have very elaborate barbels on their chin which is most likely to help them with their food as they are bottom feeding fish. Apparently it happens quite often that fishermen will accidentally catch these guys in their net and then they have absolutely no idea what weird alien like creature they just found. I feel like I would have done the same but at least we all know now in case we ever find ourselves in a similar situation. Alright guys that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video today and don't forget to subscribe. I've been your host today Olivia Kozlowski and I'll see you next time. Bye!